You'll never watch Lauren German the same way after this. Lauren German is an amazing actress. She has had some incredible roles in several television shows and movies over the years, but one of her most notable roles is Chloe Decker in the hit series Lucifer. Lauren plays a detective who's tasked with working alongside the devil himself to solve all sorts of crazy crimes and murders. However, there's a lot about Lauren that you probably never knew and you'll never watch her the same way again after seeing this video. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Lauren German has been around for many years, leading her to hold down some massive roles on television. One of her most notable roles is Leslie Shea in the popular series Chicago Fire. Though that isn't the only role that plunged her into the spotlight. She's also played Lori Weston in Hawaii 5 and took on the role of Rose in the romance drama Sex, Love and Secrets. In her younger years, she had even greater success when she was given roles in cult classics like A Walk to Remember and The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. She would later also land a role in Hostel Part 2. By all means, Lauren is a well-decorated actress who's no newbie to the business. She's been around for decades and has landed some of the biggest roles in television history. However, if we take things a step back, most fans probably don't remember that Lauren first got her start in acting when she was given a role in the onstage adaptations of both Oliver and Peter Pan. These were two of her earliest roles and she took part in these productions years before she ever thought about pursuing a career in television. Lauren has always remained laser-focused on furthering herself and her career, but she had previously hoped to become a stage actress, gaining notoriety as an amazing singer and talented on-stage actress. However, it seems like Hollywood had other plans for Lauren when she was asked to audition for several television shows and movies in her younger years. Situation, and I just need you. See, you need me. The department needs you because you're the one. I'm the one. These days, she plays the role of Chloe Decker in Lucifer and has appeared in every episode of the series since back in 2016. The show is set to end very soon, but I doubt this will slow Lauren down one bit. She always seems to hop right into another major project as soon as she finishes up a television series. However, she also has a massive social media following with more than 3.5 million followers. So before long, who knows? Maybe Lauren will give up acting for good and just become a social media influencer. But let's be real, this is pretty unlikely. Still, it's amazing to see an actress like Lauren not only find fame and fortune on television, but also on social media. While Lauren has always found herself enthralled by the idea of entertaining others, she wasn't always as put together as she is today. In her younger years, Lauren faced a lot of tragedy when going through her childhood and teenage years. Lauren was born on November 29, 1978 in Huntington Beach, California. Her parents gave her the name Lauren Christine German and she was raised in a higher income area of California, going to one of the best school systems in the area and managing to maintain a stable home life. Sort of. Even though Lauren's childhood was pretty easygoing, she wouldn't make it out with a few setbacks. For one, her mother deserted the family when she was still very young, she hasn't spoken about her mother too much in recent years, and it seems like these two don't stay in touch, if her mother is even still around. However, she wouldn't let the disappearance of her mother keep her down for too long. Without a stable female in her life, her father did the best he could to raise Lauren on his own. However, her grandfather stepped in as well to lend a hand when her father was busy working. Her father had trained many years in college to become a vascular surgeon. This meant he would work odd hours most days of the week, leaving Lauren to be looked after by her grandfather. It seemed like the young family was doing very well for themselves financially, as a vascular surgeon can make quite a lot of money. However, all the money in the world cannot replace the peace of mind that comes along with stable home life. Regardless, Lauren kept herself together and didn't let her mother's tragic decision get in the way of her happiness. She would later begin attending Los Alamitos High School and transfer to the Orange County High School of the Arts when she got a bit older. She spent several years in this school but didn't use the skills she had learned immediately. Instead, she decided to go to college at the University of Southern California and graduated with a degree in anthropology. She spent many years studying anthropology, but she never really put this degree to much use outside of her day-to-day -day life. Almost immediately after graduating college, Lauren's career in acting began to blossom when she started appearing in onstage performances 
and signing up to audition in several major productions. I come back begging you, forgive, forgive. She graduated college in 1999 and by 2000, she had already been cast in both Peter Pan and Oliver. Though it wouldn't be long before she would also find a major role in the romantic comedy, Down to You, just two years later, she would find mainstream success when she was featured in Maxim magazine in their annual Hot 100 list. This list has been called into question in more recent years, but it used to be a big deal to be featured on this list. Maxim would search the farthest corners of the world in search of the most beautiful humans around, typically women. They would then conduct photo shoots with these women and rank them from number 1 to number 100 with the list formerly being known as the Maxim Hot 100. In January of 2002, Lauren was featured on this list and managed to make it to spot number 47. While this is a major achievement in the eyes of many, these days it has only further exemplified how we objectify women in modern culture. Though that same year, Lauren also managed to gain a massive role in the film A Walk to Remember, so it seems like this list had its pluses and minuses. That's a bad attitude right there. Hello? Can you the following year, in 2003, Lauren had auditioned to gain the starring role in the remake of The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. She felt very optimistic about this role, but it was eventually given to Jessica Biel. Instead, Lauren was offered the role of the hitchhiker, which she happily accepted. This has remained one of her biggest roles and major claims to fame in the years since her audition. In the coming years, she would land roles in several movies that have since proven to be cult classics, including Born Killers in 2005, RX in 2005, Standing Still in 2005, and It's Fine, Everything's Fine. Just a couple of years later, she would find herself in one of her biggest roles yet, starring in Hostel Part 2, produced by Quentin Tarantino. This brings us closer to the modern day. It wouldn't be long before Lauren was asked to perform in Season 2 of Hawaii Five-0, this remake of the popular show was set to bring the series to a new generation, and Lauren was asked to be at the forefront of this movement. She happily accepted the role in the series and would play DHS agent Lori Weston throughout 2011 and 2012. This led her to her next big break in 2012 when she played paramedic Leslie Shea in the NBC series Chicago Fire. She stayed with the show until 2014 when her character was killed off of the series. While I'm sure most of us hated to see her leave the show, this did help lead her to her next big break, starring in the massively popular Fox series, Lucifer. This series would do very well on Fox, but it wouldn't be until Netflix purchased the rights to the series that it would find millions upon millions of fans around the world. The rest, as they say, is history. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.